Hello, this is Jeremy and welcome back. Today we're going to cover a couple topics pretty quickly, I think. Um, first one, we're going to talk about programming style and then the latter will be indentation. So with programming style, even though Java is not really syntax strict, uh, but all white space characters are ignored. And you might be like, well, what's white space? I don't get that. Well, let's open up one of our older programs we made. And when it loads up, you can see that there's white space here, white space here, white space there. You know, Java just ignores all white space. You know, this includes um, space button. Uh, excuse me, space bar, not button. Uh, the tab, new line, carriage returns, uh, stuff like that. And so again, all this stuff right here would be ignored if I were to, even if I did this. All that white space in between there and here. It's all ignored. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but you could definitely do that. So, let's just resave that. The other thing I wanted to cover was indentation. Now, as you can tell, that everything is kind of indented. I think I think it's spaces of four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, which is which is a tab for the most part. And it's easier to read this way, and you know that everything that's indented here belongs with this. And if I were to make another one called um, method here called run, that this print statement belongs to this method called run. It's just a lot easier for you to read. Now you can do all this in one line. Let me repeat that. This can all be on one line. To show that, I already have a quick example already made called one liner. This is legitimate Java code here, all on one line. Now, for some of you, you might be going, oh, this ain't too bad. I can read this. Well, okay, well, it's, just, it's, it's very short. It's not a very long program at all. It's really quick. Now, to, to let you know that it does work, I'm going to run this. And there it is. Let me pull this up just a little bit. There you go. So there are 200 shares sold at $14.67 per share. We declared a integer called uh, shares here. Set it to 220. A double called average price at 1467. And then this is our print statement, which is all this right here. Simple enough? I thought so. That's just something I wanted to cover real quick, just to kind of show you that this just the two other topics that you're usually brought up in most Java books that I've read. So that being said, um, I thank you for your time. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. Got any questions? I'll do my best to try to answer anything I can. Until then. See you later.